That's right. Leaving a truck at Padre Canyon. Hey, Jen. Hey. How are you? Good. Good. And I'm gonna hop in this truck with Jen. She's gonna take us to where? Uh, Snow Canyon. Snow Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> Snow Canyon. Yes, indeed. Pretty much in between storms right now. D-Rock here. Jen is with me and of course welcome to the channel. If you're new here please consider subscribing. It helps us out greatly. That being said, Jen what are we doing today? Padre Heights Canyon. Oh that's right. Now we did this a few years ago. Three years ago. And we're coming at it a different way. So as you just saw we left one truck over in Tuacon. Came over to Snow Canyon and Basically gonna cross over the top here to get to our canyon to descend into Padre Canyon. And this is nothing big and may have just a handful of repels. But uh, it's almost spring. It has been storming and we've got a window before we get more rain and snow. So we wanted to get out and uh, have a look around, breathe some fresh air and Ah, take a deep breath because the world is spinning crazy right now. Everybody knows what I mean. Oh, <clears throat> that's our plan. We're going to enjoy this beautiful day and hope you will join us. So, let's go get some. Our plan is to take the Tuacon chute to access the top and from there we're gonna drop into our canyon to send that away. Sound like a plan to you Jen? Pretty damp. Covered in all this. Vibrant green. But gotta be careful we don't slip. Oh. I recall we got some bush hogging up the chute, huh?
It's already an invigorating walk up. Some cool views, that's for sure. So we're gonna head down and then around the corner. Back over there is Pictograph Canyon, or I think uh, an older name was Black Hole, I think. But uh, we're gonna take a minute. I'm actually gonna throw my harness on. So is Jen, just so I don't have to be humping it on my back. Cause we've got another, another little uphill push, don't we? Actually changed my mind about the harness. If I remember correctly, it's some thick bush we gotta get through. Jen, however, she's got hers on. She's gonna power through. I did bring safety glasses cause sunglasses, I hate wearing sunglasses in the, in the bushes with the shade and everything. But last time I was in here, I did get my eye poked by a branch and it sucked tremendously. So when I head back in, I'll be wearing these. Jen's got some glasses as well. Cause getting poked in the eye with the branch just really ruins your day. We got agua, Jen. Yeah. Huh? I don't want to get my feet wet, no. I'm going to try and avoid that today. And it is slippery, let me tell you. God, look how vibrant that green is. It's like practically glowing. Wow. So this is cool. Some old rock art here. Awesome. Pretty cool how preserved they are. And they never see the sun. Wow, manzanita's blooming. Look at that. I really hate walking through this stuff, but it's got some pretty cool flowers on it. All right, well, we're at our junction. That's Pictograph Canyon, Black Hole, whatnot. This is Tuacon Chute, so away we go. Here's a view, but we have to get up. And I think, I think it's better to the left, if I recall correctly. Oh yeah. This is just my favorite, Jen. I tell ya.
It's humid, huh, Jen? Really humid, yeah. Canyon Ren. Oh, we just gotta get up there. Yeah, there. The no. Look at that view of the sky. Beautiful. Yeah. Definitely better than sitting on the couch. All right. <laughs> That's loose. Good fun, huh? Everything's just covered in moss. <laughs> Glasses are fogging up. It's humid. I'm saturated. But, but, we are almost to the top. And then once we're at the top, we go down. Yeah. Almost there, folks. Almost there. I think we're there, Jen. Ooh, man. Look at that camera. You've done it, Jen. Yes. Whew. That's a walk up, huh? Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Totally saturated. Yeah. Your feet. How are you yeah? I felt every bit of that. Excellent views from the top up here, wouldn't you say, Jen? Oh no, the clouds just add that extra dramatic effect. Absolutely beautiful. So the last time we did Padre Heights Canyon, we actually, right here is Padre Canyon. We walked this whole canyon all the way to the back there and then cut up and walked all the way down this stuff. And it was a stretch, man, let me tell you. <laughs> Which got us, we couldn't find the canyon because it's all, you know, you're all hidden in this. We, and eventually we did find it. And uh, we ended up coming out in the dark. It was, it was a bit of an adventure actually. Yeah. So this time we've come up the Tuacan chute or chimney, I'll we'll just stick with chute. And a straight climb up and then it's gonna be boom, straight down we're in the canyon. So it's a lot quicker approach. 
but there's some bush hogging involved. So there you have it. So anyway, we're all refreshed, had some water, geared up, laced up. It's time to go down a little canyon. And folks, if you like the canyoneering videos, do us a solid, hit that subscribe button. Really helps us out. Like, comment. We appreciate you watching. Thanks for sticking with us. Thank you. Where's your helmet? Oh. <laughs> so you always own your right spot with this little pond here, which has fluctuating levels of agua depending on the time of year. Jen wants to put some bluegill in there, right? <laughs> Maybe a bass or two. See where it goes. Anyway. This is our start right here, and our start is Skinny, let me tell you. Oh yeah. It'd be slick if it was wet. Yeah, I know. Ooh, here we go. All right. Looks fun. <laughs> Pretty tight there, Jim. Good thing I didn't finish that cheeseburger last night. <laughs> I actually removed some stuff from my harness to get to this section. <laughs> yeah, my belly's touching. <laughs> Check that out. Hello. You all right? Actually, this is down climbable right here. You know, we just had to make this a little more dramatic than it had to be. Right, Jen? <laughs> that one's wedged in there pretty good, huh? <laughs> so are you, apparently. <laughs> Take her harness off. <laughs> oh, no. Rope coming at you. You good? Yeah. Right. Let's try to down climb this instead of going through what Jen went through.
Nice. So there's two options. You can squeeze through or go up. Go up. You should go up. Go up, for sure. <laughs> So out of this slot, come to our first rappel, which could probably be downclined to be honest, but uh, there's a pair of bolts with some chains right here. So this is a short rappel. We're just gonna go um, double strand on this. It's what, maybe 15 feet, 20? Yeah. Yeah, that's no big deal here. However, I do think we have a 100 footer we're going to encounter. My recollection is correct. Another. All right. That looks all right. Kind of mossy right here, Jim, so watch your footing. Hello. Not too bad. So there are chains right here for rappel, but uh, I do believe we can just down climb this one. I see another pair of chains. Yeah, let me come down there. And you just thank you. I want to be careful what you put your hands into. This rock's a little damp. Bust. Kind of slick. And I don't risk taking the fall. <sighs> All right, good to go. Here's the next rappel. 
Uh, you could probably down climb this too. However, we're just gonna go down the rope because the rock is wet. Could be a little slick and why not, right Jen? Right. Slick, huh? Nice. Look like a big old drop for a second. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Lower packs. Move this one to where mine is when you get here, okay? Oh, there's an anchor right there. Right there. Are you good at down climbing that? You already dropped the rope, didn't you? Take your pack off. Yeah. Uh, it's good. There's an anchor right there. But uh Jim's saying it's it's all bueno. ourselves out on this stuff. The rocks really grippy so that's good. options. Nice little slot. Mm -hmm. I 
we just walk all this stuff down till we get to that big rappel. Okay, so we gotta come down a little bit here. And our next rappel is somewhere over there. Well, there's the bottom. Don't really recall where the next anchor is, so we're gonna head down this and see what we run into. Huh. All right, so we gotta walk back up and over, come down over here. <coughs> Let's go see what's happening over here. Whoa. There's a rope tied around a tree. weird this is interesting there's a rope already in place now we've inspected the rope all the way to the tree and I mean it's it's not frayed uh, I mean it's in decent enough condition it's not weathered bad or anything but um, there aren't any anchors that we can discern in the immediate area to get down and we have to get down this. So, Jen's gonna put me on a belay. I'm gonna go down the rope to the slope part down here. And after that, we should be good because we can walk on down there. But this is an interesting new development to this route. When you say, Jen? Yeah, this is. Someone must have pulled the anchors or, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's interesting. So what Jen's gonna do, she's gonna drop down here and then belay me out and I'm gonna go down to where I'm safe and that way if something does happen to the rope, she's got me on belay. But then you're gonna have to go down just on the rope. I'm glad we brought the walkies now. Wow. So Jen's gonna crawl down into here. She can't go anywhere if I rope pops and I go down. So she's gonna get me on belay. We've got a walkie to communicate. And uh, this is uh, definitely interesting for sure. Well, here goes nothing. I've got an auto block on. And if I get in a situation, I do have the cinders to get me back up this rope. So, all right, Jen, I'll keep you posted. Wait, my ropes are caught on a horn up there. Okay, good? All right. Uh, it's not really bad. How far is it? Well, I'm not sure how far this rope goes, but I just got a few more feet and I can walk down over here, so I'm okay thus far.
stinking awkward. Jen's pulling up the other rope and she's gonna come down. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not 100 feet to the floor there off this. We're not going that way, we're going this way. So I'm gonna totem block that and let Jen continue on and if it's not enough rope then I can uh, lower her. What we're gonna do at this point is I've got Jen on a munter so in case something happens to that rope I've got her and I'm wedged in these big slabs here so I can lower her if that rope pops. How was it? It was pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. Um, I would say I've got 10, maybe 15 feet of rope down here. Whoa. 85 foot rappel then? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna toss the bag and come down double strand. If I toss to my right, which would be above you, is there anything that's gonna get caught on? I don't think so. All right, well, we'll give it a try. Let me know when you're off. Okay, well, apparently Jen kicked down a lot of debris on her way down, so uh, she's gonna not belay me and step away so I don't knock something down her. So I'm gonna go down double strand and uh, have an auto block on for my safety. But uh, man, this is, this is something else. Oh, you're right there. That's not too much farther. Wow. What? Yeah, for real. Wow. Oh, touchdown. So last time we did this three years ago, we came off right up there and dropped down to here. And that's probably a hundred feet or so, maybe a little more. And this time we came off that rope end right there to this. Well, not hundred percent sure if there is another rappel because we didn't hit it on the last time. And we came down all this in the dark. Remember that? Yeah, it's good time. So we'll keep an eye out for something, but we're just gonna kinda head off to the left here because we can walk down and get back on the Padre Canyon Trail here. And I just spotted some anchors. How about that? 
How about that? There's our exit. Yeah, I'm plebe. Well, that's a good little drop down there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll block it, let you go down single strand, and then I'll come down double. Alright, webbing looks alright. Well, no wonder we didn't find this rappel the last time in the dark, <laughs> since it's down in the crack. I'm just gonna flake out 100 feet because I'm not exactly sure. I don't think it's anything more than 100. And I'll put a block in. And Jen should be good to go. Go down on that. What do you see over the edge? I Air? See, I don't know. There might be a little bit towards the bottom, but other than that, it's just sheer. Okay, so you can walk down it. Yeah, and the rope's on the ground. I can see it. Oh, beautiful. I guess you are cleared for takeoff. Okay, see you down there. All right. Give me a shot when you're at the bottom. Will do. Nice. Was it a free hang? All right then, thank you. Let me know when you're off. All right, let's see how awesome this is. Get out of the way. Oh, I see you. Hello. I'm on rope. I got an auto block on, so I'm safe. It's just getting that out. As Jim says, it's free hang, so. <clears throat> Good lord. There we go. Touchdown. I was looking back up. That final rappel there. It's kind of a free hang from here at this point. That's a good 60, 70 feet. That's a good one. That's a good way to end it. There's a trail right down there, and we're just parked right over there. And we made it out for the sunset, Jen. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Okay, well, we've made it to the trail, Padre Canyon Trail. And now, it's just a walk out. That was a good one, wasn't it, Jen? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Jen, thoughts on the canyon? Mm. Some tight, tight squeezes to big, wide open spaces. It was beautiful, beautiful day. Enough adventure. <laughs> it had all the things, huh? It had, yeah, it had all the things. It was as tight as Dothraki, which was yeah. memorable. Won't forget that one. Yeah. <laughs>
That uh, <clears throat> one particular rappel off the rope was interesting. I would be somewhat aware and thoroughly check that rope before attempting that one. It's It's been there for a little while. Still seem to be in decent enough shape, but yeah. uh, who knows? Enough rubbing on rock and it'll come apart. Other than that though, that was a good time. It was nice to get the last rappel down and do that. So all in all, dope day for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. There you have it folks, Padre Heights Canyon. As always, we appreciate you watching and thanks for sticking with us. Special thanks to our subscribers, patrons, and Subscribestar. We appreciate you. Folks, stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out. Ten out. Adios.